Welcome back. This is episode 63 of the Veterinary Business Video Show. In today's show, we'll see how to adapt to the challenge of the post-recession era, and we'll hear some advice about preparing for that all-important interview. We'll ask what you understand by the word mindfulness, and we'll look at a simple tool to help you measure a communication index in your practice consulting room, and I'll offer you my quick business tip for this episode. I'm John Sheridan, and this is the show that helps practice owners, managers, and clinicians just like you to build your successful practice into a great business. As I was preparing the script for this episode, the economy here in the UK remains pretty flat. The future of the Eurozone looks more and more problematic, and the economic outlook for 2012 looks equally grim. So it was appropriate that one of the key sessions during the London Vet Show was concerned with adapting to the challenges of the post-recession era presented by Mark Moran. Here's a flavour of what he had to say. Firstly, it was the fact to recognise that whilst the recession has meant the economy has shrunk, it hasn't gone away. The UK economy will still be worth £360 billion. Pounds. So we shouldn't be focused on the bit we've lost, we should be focused on the bit that remains. The second lesson of the recession is, it's affected everybody differently. There are actually some of our clients who are better off today than they were before the recession started. But there will also be some who are significantly worse off. So what are businesses doing that are proving themselves to be strong post-recession? The phrase people are using is called rebalancing. It means looking at your business and saying, how can we do things differently to reflect the new environment we expect to see going forward? Well, first and foremost, you need to understand your customers. How has the recession affected them? How has it affected their businesses? What are they going to be looking to you for in the future? The next thing that's important is you need to demonstrate to your customers that you've understood their needs. Every time you walk into a supermarket today, you're going to see recession-busting deals. Not on everything, the supermarkets are all recording increased profits. They're doing it because they're giving the clients something that beats the recession, but not everything. So what have you got in your practice that's your recession-busting deal to demonstrate to clients that you understand the pain some of them are going through and that you're working with them to help to mitigate that pain for their animals? Next, we have to look at, can we do things differently? Rebalancing your business also means can we change the way we do things that reduces the cost of doing them? If we can reduce the cost, we can share that with the client. We can keep some additional margin for ourselves, but give some savings to our client. Clients are expecting more for their money, and they're making careful choices how to spend it. What that means is we have to 